Gonna boy say he won't marry me. Oh. I hope say he's happy, cuckoo at you. Hope your love goes sweet past the shit, though. Baby boy, they say he think my body is a killer. Oh. I hope say he's happy, cuckoo at you. Hope his love goes sweet past the shit, though. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with uh, another customization video for you guys and this time I'm doing it on a 360 unit. This is the unit that I made that I'll be showing you guys how to customize, how to make the unit and customize the unit as well. So this hair is from Virgo Hair Company, which is an AliExpress vendor. Four bundles and a 360 lace frontal. And I did go ahead and install all four bundles and the frontal on this unit. You guys, this unit is extremely full. The curls are very sexy looking. I love the way the curls look. Now this is their Water Wave Texture Brazilian hair. Now I'm going to let you guys watch how I customize this wig. And towards the end of this video, I'll be back with some more details on the hair and how the hair is holding up. Alright, so the dome cap that I'll be using is this meshy dome cap, and I prefer to use this one because it's very lightweight. And it also lets your hair breathe underneath, and also when you do wash your unit, it's super easy to dry. Then I'm going to take the frontal and place it onto the mannequin head to where I want the frontal to lie. And then I'm going to go around it and stitch around the perimeter so when I do um, go in with my bundles, I know exactly where to place them. Now that you're finished stitching down the front, so you're going to take your first bundle. This first bundle that I'm taking is a 28 inch. And this here again is from an AliExpress vendor, Virgo Hair Company on AliExpress. And I'm going to lay the first bundle right where the hair on that frontal ends. And then you're pretty much just going to stitch across it. And then I do double the um, bundles in the back. And then normally when I reach to like the middle of the front, I would start like cutting off all the bundles piece by piece and just stitching them down. I mean, you guys will see, I kind of didn't like record the full, full video of me stitching down the front. I kind of just did like the back and then the middle section. But I do have a full tutorial on how I make my um, lace frontal units. I'll leave that down below in the description bar so you guys can see. The steps are basically the same on how you would make your lace frontal unit. The only thing is you have to know where the back and where the front of this frontal is. So you don't like stitch it to where there's going to be bulks and stuff like that. It's not going to look bumpy when you're done with it. See, I like when you come around, make you call and be my queen. Oh. Make you move that thing, bring it down. Make you move that thing, bring it down. See, I like when you come around, make you call and be my queen. Oh. Make you move that thing, bring it down. Make you move that thing, bring it down. Hey, mommy. You bring it down The way you move the body, girl You shut it down Where you from, girl? Cause I see you around Tell when I'm a boss, man So you know how it goes down Me, I be checking Now that you're finished making your unit You're just gonna go in and cut off all that extra lace from around the unit 
And what I normally do is I just literally hold back the extra hairs that's in the front with one finger and I just literally cut all around it. Now this is pretty much what the unit looks like and as you guys can see there's these extra pieces around the ears that's covering my ears. So what I'm going to do to remove that is I'm going to actually cut the lace right there. I'm going to part the little section of where I want to cut it out. I'm going to mark it. Now that I've marked it with the scissors, I'm going to remove the unit and actually cut off all that extra lace around my ear area. So when I do apply my unit, the unit's not bugging my ears or anything like that. A lot of people also have this issue with like all their frontals. You will have to end up adjusting them or cutting off some pieces on the ear area so that it can actually lay flat and actually fit your head properly. Now I'm not going to pluck this frontal as you guys can see. All I'm going to do is go in with my scissors and cut off some of that baby hair because they're really long and I can't slick them up like that. It's just way too long. I'm going to take my Got To Be Styling Gel. I still have to go re-up on this. As you guys can see, it's practically done. And I'm like really trying to get every last drop out, ooh, out of it as possible because... I've been killing it, so I gotta go buy another one. Alrighty. Once I'm done laying my baby hairs, I'm going to take my rat tail comb and we're going to part the hair. I'm going to do like a side part today. Um, I'm going to part the hair and then I'm going to take this curling mousse. I actually bought this mousse in Walmart. I'll leave the name down below in the description bar for you guys. Then I'm going to apply the mousse to where I section off the hair. And I'm just going to like rub that in so that the frontal right there lays really flat. And I'm just going to add some more mousse to the hair on the frontal of this unit alone. Just because the hair on the frontal is not as um, curly as the hair on the bundles itself. And then that's really it you guys. That's literally all I did to this hair. Alright y'all, so this is pretty much the hair in its natural state as you guys saw. All I did was I applied some mousse to the hair, I laid the baby hairs on the hair and I cut it off, all that extra lace around the edge. So this is pretty much how I would lay my 360 lace front wig. Um, as you guys saw, I did not do much to this hair at all. I'm so loving the texture on this hair. This hair is from Virgo Hair Company, which is an AliExpress vendor. The bundles came extremely full. You guys, I'm wearing four bundles and a lace and the 360 lace front out like this is a lot of hair. Normally, I don't ever wear this much hair on my head, but I really love how this turned out. And the hair is really long like i really loved how this hair turned out i have not received any shedding as yet with this hair but i'm hoping it doesn't shed for most part <laughs> the hair is not tangling either so the only thing that i did notice with the frontal is that the curls on the frontal are a bit um they're less defined than than the curls on the bundles itself that's kind of the reason to why i added the most to the um curls on the frontal because i wanted it to be as defined as the curls on the bundles but other than that that's really the only issue with this hair is that the frontal and the bundles in the back doesn't look exactly exactly the same here the bundles are true to length so you won't have any issues with that this is pretty much it in a second i'm gonna get up so you guys can see what the hair looks like in the back but um this is it thank you guys so much for watching